The 155mm M982 Excalibur Extended Range Guided Missiles provided by the U.S. to Ukraine are being disrupted by Russia's POLYE-21 Radio Electronic Warfare Systems, according to a Forbes report, cited by Objectivno.bg. The jamming technique used by the Russians interferes with the GPS signals of these missiles. As noted by Vikram Middle, an American military analyst, the conflict between Ukraine and Russia has brought about numerous technological advancements. He particularly emphasizes how such technologies have significantly influenced artillery operations. As highlighted by BulgarianMilitary.com, Numerous advances in Russian technology have been causing quite a stir for the Ukrainian military forces, narrated by their commander-in-chief, General Zaluzhny. One such technological marvel that stands out is the highly regarded Russian kamikaze drone, Lancet, whose capabilities are not lost on middle. According to middle, the petite size and remarkable precision of these drones pose a significant challenge due to their clever ability to go undetected, coupled with an erratic flight pattern. Middle further adds that such complexity makes it arduously difficult for the Ukrainian forces to execute successful counter-reactions. Besides, the Poly-21 radio electronic warfare system deployed by Russia has been successful in jamming the GPS signals used to guide the Excalibur projectiles that are in Ukraine's arsenal. As a result, the disrupted GPS signals lead the missiles astray, causing them to miss their targets. Middle also mentions, certain electronic warfare gadgets have been given to Ukraine as part of foreign military assistance. These include devices that disrupt GPS signals, thus interfering with Russian drones and precision-guided weapons. However, this is an ongoing technological duel, with Russia likely to have already produced countermeasures against the electronic warfare devices and stray ammunition used by Ukraine. As per a British report released in May, an evaluation of Russia's frontline military prowess approximated that its forces were eliminating nearly 10,000 Ukrainian drones each month. Britain's Royal United Services Institute, RUSI, reports that Russia's wide-scale utilization of electronic warfare is a vital component of their tactics, and it's substantially impacting the large number of Ukrainian drone casualties. The statistics which roll up to over 300 drones daily, have originated from three anonymous Ukrainian officers who were interviewed in April and May earlier this year. James Patton Rogers, a military studies professor and acknowledged drone expert at the University of Southern Denmark, intimated to Insider that the majority of the drones busted were not expensive, small-scale commercial drones employed for surveillance duties. He commented on the never before drones are being deployed in Ukraine, deeming it among the first drone-centric conflicts worldwide. Although Patton Rogers feels that the numbers may be inflated, he concedes that they underscore the effectiveness of Russia's electronic warfare in counteracting the extensive use of drones in Ukraine. According to the report issued by the Royal United Services Institute, Russia has strategically positioned a major electronic warfare system approximately every six miles along an estimated 750-mile front line of the conflict. 
These systems, which are primarily tasked with incapacitating drones, are stationed roughly four miles from the front line, the report elaborated. The Poly-21 doesn't discriminate, and can target enemy weapons using the American-made GPS standard just as readily as it can the European Union's Galileo, China's Beidou and even Russia's own GLONASS. Without the ability to accurately determine their coordinates, enemy drones, missiles, aircraft etc. cannot complete their combat mission, and are either forced to return to base, in the case of manned aircraft, or become disoriented, failing to reach their targets and eventually falling to the ground. Each POLYE-21 complex consists of a powerful R340RP radio station, small enough to be mounted aboard a truck chassis or in a permanently stationary configuration, if preferred plus a control system to operate an array of antenna modules, up to 100 per system, each of which can help suppress signals at ranges up to 25 kilometers. In all, a single Pole 21 complex can create an invisible dome of interference blanketing an area up to 150 kilometers by 150 kilometers. In addition to its own jamming towers, the system's jamming modules can be installed on existing mobile phone towers, dramatically reducing the system's cost and power requirements. A single 20-watt transmitter is sufficient for the system to jam all satellite navigation signals in an 80 km range, with the system deflecting and rendering useless global positioning signals in the 1176.45 to 1575.42 MHz range. Like many modern Russian weapons designs, the POLYE-21 complex is built on a modular principle, designed to simplify production and deployment and reduce expenses. Several modifications of the system exist, including the POLYE-21M, a modernized variant of the base model, and the export-oriented Poly-21E. The system's designers have been tight-lipped about the differences between its variants. First shown off by JSCSTC Electronic Warfare in 2013, the POLYE-21 reportedly began to be introduced into service with the Russian military in 2016. Since their introduction, the systems are known to have been adopted by electronic warfare units operating across the central, southern and eastern military districts, the Russian 201st base in Tajikistan, and the base at Tardis, Syria.